Stony Brook is family. It's home. It's given me everything I have needed from undergrad to grad school, now medical school. Met uh, the best friends I've ever had in my life. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next hour. It's something that we've been working for for all four years, so it's really exciting, but also really nerve-wracking. <laughs> I'm from Southern California. I came to Stony because it's a fantastic medical school with great people and I'm hoping to go back home at the same time. I might end up all the way in Providence too. So I'm really nervous right now. I just want to see what's going to happen. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome all of you to the celebration. These students have been working untiringly for the past four years and this is their special day. There are over 17,000 students all across the U.S. to find out where their destinations and their destinies are going to lead them to. I just wanted to first off say that, you know, never forget those who have supported you and encouraged you throughout this journey as we approach a new beginning and a new aspect of our training. Five, four, three, two, one. I matched at Harvard Mass General Hospital in Radiation Oncology. I ended up matching at Montefiore, which is my top choice, so I'm ecstatic. Tears of joy, literally, a few minutes ago. I'm so happy. We had a larger than usual number of students who stayed within the Stony Brook system. And that tells us that they like our system and they're ready to take on the next phase of their training. I ended up in Boston at Beth Israel Deaconess and I'm so excited. It was my number one choice and I'm, I'm so happy. It's exactly what I wanted and I really could not be any happier. And I'm so thankful for Stony Brook for everything. I had the best mentors here and I, this is the best day ever. Really.